Hello everyone, today I would like to share with you the pattern of a very beautiful knit stitch, the waves, that has effect of the waves. You can see it looks beautiful on your skin, so it's very good for sweaters, uh, even the um, scarves. I actually started to, grow, to knit one scarf and I really love how it looks like. I used my hand dyed avocado yarn. You can watch on my channel how I hand dye with avocado beads. This and got this really magic color. I really love it. Unfortunately, I don't have much time to crochet a cardigan or something bigger. So I started with the scarf. It's really fast and really easier than what you can expect. Here is the sample that I started for you, so you can see clearly. And I chose the blue because actually the name of this stitch or pattern is the waves. So these are the long uh, loops. We will call them long loops that are because of the yarn over. So here I have two times yarn over and then in the middle one time yarn over and two times yarn over. And between them, there are like four knit stitches. So here, no pearl, just knit stitch. The pearl is just the last stitch. It's very easy. And what you have to do is to cast multiple of five plus two uh, stitches. And then you can have any number that multiple of five plus two. And then now uh, you have to knit for four rows or six rows. It depends how you want this uh, distance between the waves. Here is just four and here I have six because I wanted to have more uh, stitches between. Here I have six and here just four. So it all depends on you. You can make as many in between as you want so uh, after you need four five six rows how many you want we will i will start to show you how to actually get this effect so what you have to do is um as i told you the first this plus two the first and the last are just for the edge for the smooth edge and so i'm not knitting or not purling the first one i just move it to my uh, needle without anything then now according to the pattern as you can see it's like a, in a chess order so first there are the long loops then they are a bit further so now according to my pattern i must start with this one and you start with this one as well so to get that i must first knit five stitches since we have multiple of fives so one two three four and five now I will start to make yarn over. So first time you make two times yarn over like this one time and second time yarn over and knit. Then again yarn over two times and knit then yarn over three times and knit then yarn over two times and knit and yarn over two times and knit so this wave that i created it consists of two times yarn over, two times yarn over, one time, three times yarn over, and two times. So in total I have five stitches since it's multiple of five. If I wanted, like in my scarf, I had a bigger wave. So 
you can see here I have nine stitches so I did one time yarn over one time yarn over five times of two times yarn over and one time so this one became longer and less tall than this one because it has three times yarn over it's much taller so it all depends on you you can experiment with how big you want how tall how short how long it depends how many times yarn over so if you want like this size you need three times yarn over if you want smaller you can make two times yarn over you will understand it after you need several different items you can experiment to understand which look you want from it so after we made one we continue with knit stitch five knit stitches two three four and five after five we start again with our wave so we have two times yarn over two times yarn over one time three times yarn over and then finish symmetrically so i make two times yarn over and i knit two times yarn over and i knit and then three times yarn over and I knit and then two times yarn over and two times yarn over so I finish five now I need five stitches one two three four and five and I start again the wave so two times yarn over two times yarn over three times yarn over then two times and two times yarn over so always multiple of five now I have five knit stitch two three one moment so now i have five knit stitches and i have six left so one we don't count is the last stitch and here i have five more so i start again with two times yarn over two times yarn over three times yarn over two times two times and the last you purl so you get good edge and the next row is the most interesting because we will let's see the effect of our wave I got a bit of so now we are going to start the most interesting row and we are going to start by moving one the first one without need or pearl then we need all the other stitches So it's knit stitch where you had yarn over in the previous row you just let it go from your needle and knit the stitch where you had yarn over you just let it go you be it becomes a very long loop and you knit so it looks like that here we had three times yarn over is the longest I just let it go from my needle without knitting or purling and knit the stitch so it looks like that this one is two times yarn over and 
and the last yarn over I just let it go and I knit the stitch and you get something that looks like that at the beginning it will look weird or wrong but don't worry just continue it must have this look and now you have five knit stitches as i told you 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 could have like 10 knit stitches in between it all depends how you want the pattern to look like more waves less visible more visible then uh again i have yarn over i let it go and i have here my stitch that i need all the stitches are knit stitches go on go on and you see how long are the loops don't be scared of these long loops they look awesome in your finished knit product so when i saw first time this stitch i thought wow must be really hard to make this effect but actually it's super easy as you can see now just a neat stitch just yarn over yarn over that you must let them go to create this effect you don't need to knit or purl yarn over just let them go and they do their work they work by themselves like this go on until the end of this row i'm trying to show you many times so you feel comfortable with seeing them and go on as you can see they look a bit like that but after you crush uh, you need several rows they look better so don't be scared if you think they look wrong for you after you need them first time so three times yarn over is a very long loop like this and last time so you can pull a bit for the loops and finish with the pearl stitch the last one is always pearl so now i have to continue with knit stitch four rows if you had six rows you can make six or four rows of knit stitch just the first one as i told you you never need a pearl and continue until the end without the yarn over just knit stitch all of them and as you can guess after four rows we will start again pull a bit so i meet you after i need four rows so now uh, after you need two oh, sorry four rows you will start again with the wave and now the wave will start from the beginning so you just move the fir first one without knitting and start with the two times yarn over and knit stitch two times yarn over knit stitch so you just repeat you just shifted the wave further than back further back like in chess 
first time you start with uh, five knit stitches and then the wave and then the next time you start with the wave and then the sorry the five knit stitches i hope you understood so you, you always alternate and you continue after you finish this pattern you continue with five knit stitches two three four five and then you start again so that's very easy and after you make this row you continue with four or six or five how many rows you have and you will get this effect it's really beautiful i hope uh, it's clear here is a bit different i experiment so i um, have one wave here and here I start from the middle, so I had uh, one time yarn over, one time yarn over, and five times of two times yarn over. So here I start like half to show this as if it's just half in continuous, as if they are going in continuous. So I start this one with two times yarn over, two times yarn over, with this half. And then continue so as you can see you can experiment instead of knit stitch uh, on the after the long loops you can uh, make pearl stitch so you have a bit of different effect you can really have a lot of different uh, knit products with different stitches it all depends on your creativity i always say that you must try by yourself and create something unique for you i hope you like this tutorial i hope it was really easy because it is really easy and see you again next time this one is thanks to my subscriber jasmine that i know her personally and she asked this tutorial i hope it will be clear for her as well and she will enjoy and if you still have questions please let me know in the comments below